This is the VOA Special English Health Report. Scientists say a study in Africa shows that AIDS drugs can increase life expectancy in patients to nearly normal levels. One of the authors was Dr. Jean Nishega of South Africa's Stellenbosch University and the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health in Baltimore, Maryland. He says the major finding is that patients in Africa receiving antiretroviral therapy for HIV can expect to live a near normal lifespan. The findings appear in the Annals of Internal Medicine. Over the last 30 years, the HIV AIDS epidemic cut 15 to 20 years or more from life expectancy rates in Africa. Dr. Nishega says those rates had gained sharply in many countries in the past because of access to clean water and expanded immunization programs. The study took place in Uganda, where life expectancy at birth is an average of about 55 years. The study involved 22,000 patients being treated for HIV. The results were promising, but were different for men and women. At age 20, life expectancy for men was another 19 years. Women could expect to live 30 more years. At age 35, men could expect to live to 57. Women could expect to live to 67. Dr. Neshega says men generally start treatment later than women. By then, the disease is less treatable. He says one reason men wait may be because they spend more time looking for a job and a way to survive. The second reason is obviously the issue about stigma, which still affects a majority of people in the community. Also, programs for pregnant women mean that women have more chances to get tested for HIV and to receive treatment. Dr. Neshega says health officials need to deal with this gender imbalance. He also says we should no longer see treatment and prevention totally separately. He says treatment of HIV AIDS is a part of prevention. Because by treating people and hopefully treating them earlier, they are less likely to transmit the virus to their sexual partner. Studies also show that giving antiretroviral drugs to uninfected people can help protect them from HIV. Two recent studies found that taking medication daily reduced the risk of infection in heterosexuals. An earlier study showed that it reduced the risk among gay men. For VOA Special English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.